Let us now utilize Vesta, the modeling software, to visualize the face center cubic of aluminum. What you will need to do is just drag and drop the correct file onto the Vesta program. Here I have the Vesta program. I had placed the aluminum FCC uh, file on my desktop. So all I need to do is drag and drop onto Vesta program. Now I have FCC aluminum. As you can see, there in this unit cell, there are eight corner atoms, and there are also six face-centered atoms. Corner on the left side here onto the style tab. I can cycle between the space filling here, which you'll see how the atoms are being packed. I can translate, I can also magnify, and I can also measure the distances between atoms using the distance option. If you go to the tools tab here, you can actually animate the model. You, if you click on animate animation, you'll see that there's free rotation. You can actually control how the, 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 the rotation by utilizing your mouse and moving the actual structure. You can also rotate about particular axes like the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. Now I have my loaded FCC iron. One thing to, to also notice is the origin of, this, of, the, of the system represented by three base vectors, A, B, and C. A corresponding to the x-axis, B the y, and C the z-axis, especially when, when you're representing vectors. So with that said, this corner atom here, if I can select it, this atom is, is represented as the, uh, I like to note this atom as the one located at the origin. So all my distances, all my vectors, and all my planes will be measured relative to this atom. So let's try to, let me, for, let me go back to the style, the ball, ball and stick style, that way we can see a little bit better. Let's try to represent some vectors within this unit cell. So what you need to do is go to the edit menu, go down to vectors. Okay, let me enlarge this a little bit here. You can assign vectors to crystallographic sites or individual atoms. I like to assign them to individual atoms and, and I'm going to assign it to the atom at the origin. So here are the, all the atoms represented within this unit cell. There are 14. And as you can see, the first atom is the atom located at the Cartesian coordinate 0, 0, 0. So what I want to do is attach a vector onto this atom. So to create a new vector, if you look at it on the right side, on the, under the Vectors tab, you, you select New. Okay, you get another uh, window. The uh, type of vector will be axial. Now the radius here, you can actually the, modify the radius of the vector. And what I like to do is represent the one zero zero vector. So what I need to do, all I need to do is um, type in the value here. This will be my one vector. This will remain as zero, and this will also be zero. Okay. Now, one thing I like to uncheck is the penetrate atoms because what, what's going to happen is going to offset the, the vectors going to be offset, and I want it to start right at the origin, and then I select the option for add atom radius to the vector modulus. Okay. Now, what you'll see is 
once I inputted, going back, once I inputted the lattice vector notation, 100, zero, zero, uh, everything else will be uh, modified automatically. And this will give you the proper distances, okay, according to the lattice parameter. Once I selected OK, then I have my, my new vector. And what I want to do is actually set this, atom, this vector onto my origin, or the atom located at 0, 0, 0. So all I need to do is select this vector right, and say set. Okay, now we have, as you can see, it's in, it's in red, the vector. Now, it's kind of hard to see the head of the vector. That's why I like to go to the wireframe view. So then you can see this vector. Now, let's try another vector. Let's do the 1, 1, 1 vector. So what I want to do is select new vector again. I'm going to call it the 1, 1, 1 vector. OK. And then it'll automatically modify all the values in terms of the, 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 the vector lengths. And then uncheck penetrate atoms and, add, and check the add atom radius to the vector modulus. Say OK. I'm going to attach this, again, you have to go to the individual atom. I'm going to attach this vector to the 0, 0, uh, zero atom. I'm going to set. And now you have the atom that is along the 1, 1, 1 direction. Now, when you do the space filling option, it is difficult to see these vectors. And again, that's why I like to go to the wireframe. Okay. So let's get some measurements. Let's try to measure the, the vector lengths. Well, I know that the, the 1, 0, 0 vector uh, is equal to the lattice parameter length. So let's, you, let's go to the distance option, and then you select the, the atom at the origin, and then you select the other atom on the, where the other head of the vector is located. And then if you look at here, uh, down here on the output, you'll see that from aluminum to aluminum, it shows the, uh, both aluminums that, that are selected and the coordinates. You see that the total distance is equal to 4.04958 angstroms. Uh, an angstrom is 1 times 10 to the minus 10, or this can be represented as 0 0.404 uh, uh, nanometers. And this is actually the lattice parameter length A of the FCC aluminum. Now, what if I wanted to know the distance of the 1, 1, 1 vector? Let's select, again, the origin atom. And then let's select the, the, the atom that is along the, the, on the opposite, along the diagonal. OK, I have that selected. Then you see down here on the output that the length of that um, is equal to 7.04 angstroms. Now that we know how to represent vectors, let's try to visualize planes. So what, what I first need to do is go back to my vectors and delete the ones that I created, just so that they won't obstruct our, our view. I go back to the Edits uh, tab and click on Lattice Planes. You'll be presented with another window. And let's create a new plane. Now, these are based uh, on the Miller indices. I already have the preview option set, so you'll see how the, the, the planes are already there. They, they, they will show, and then you can adjust the, the color. Um, let's do the, this, this plane now is the 1, 0, 0 plane. You can actually offset the plane from the origin here by controlling the distance. For example, if I have the value as 1.0, let's say the value, uh, now this, that's one plane. Now let's say we wanted to look at the 1.1.0 one, one, plane. 
Okay. Here is the plane. Let's select OK and let's look at it. Let me go to the free rotation. And you see that the plane is along the 1, 1, 0 axis, but it, it is a little bit offset. So typically, the way they represent it, 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 this plane goes along the diagonal. So what I like to do is go back to the uh, lattice plane, the one we defined here. And I'd like to just go about a value of 1 times that distance, OK? So this is a distance, again, according to the, uh, the parameter length. So that will adjust it. And now you have your 1, 1, 0 plane. Let's try visualizing the 1, 1, 1 plane. So I go back. I can either create a new plane, or uh, I could delete this current plane and create a new one. All I need to do is adjust the, 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 the Miller indices. Okay, and I want to go approximately one times the length. Okay, and then you'll see now this is the one, one, one plane. If you go back to the space field style, you, it's very difficult to see that plane. However, what if you wanted to calculate some planar densities? What you can do is actually cut these atoms uh, by, by, by using the boundary feature. So if you go to the Objects tab and go down here to Boundary, this actually cut along the 111, so that way we can slice it and expose the, the atoms. So what we'll do is we'll create a new one, and the mineral indices will be the same. 111. One, one. Okay. And I want to be, I'm going to set the, the distance equal to 1 also. Then I hit Apply. So what you did is now cut along the 111 one, one plane, and all the atoms that were uh, uh, off the, uh, the plane were cut out. And then you'll see all the atoms are along the 111 plane. And from here you can actually do some calculations as to the uh, as to the um, the planar density. Let's go back to the ball and stick so you can actually see it a little bit better. Okay? Again, my origin atom is is located right here. So this is a, a great tool to visualize for students um, how these structures are being packed, how to visualize vectors in space, and also how to visualize planes, and even do some cut views using the boundary feature.